How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Just cut on some lights, I guess. I'll cut some lights on. As soon as I can find them. How you doing, everybody? Good evening. Oh, it's still nasty. Good evening, everybody. How we doing? It's good to see you on here. Let me see. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Listen, I'm not going to beat around the bush with it. And uh, I sure as heck ain't going to play no games with it. I'm going to just come on out with it. Listen, uh, there we go. Y'all know good and well. There we go. Y'all know right now that we're we we hearing about uh, the situation. Do me a favor before we get started. Please don't say nothing political, cause I don't want to bow nobody out. I'm serious. Please don't say nothing political. Please don't say any political figures. Don't say any presidents. Don't say none of that. None of them. Don't hint around to them or nothing. Just let me let me dance with that. Okay. Because I got a whole nother video about the bank that I got to take down because I asked everybody not to do that. And now it's it's a good video and a lot of people got a lot of good facts. But I got a bunch of people saying a bunch of uh, political names, presidential names, conspiracy theories and everything else. And I got to take that video down all because of that. It's a dog no shame. But everybody know what's going on right now over over there. You know that uh, you know this is going to affect us. If uh, Robin Caesar, darling, you saying why what's happening? That's why I'm on here tonight because I don't want to talk about the problem so much because. Everybody should know the problem. Everybody should know what's going on right now. If you don't know what's going on, you're using all of your smart devices for the wrong reason. So, uh, I'm not going to hint around to it. I'm just going to plan to tell you right now. Try to Google what's going on right now. You know something? I, I got a lot of people and they say, some some people in that other video said, Lib, I don't know why you got a baby talk around it and everything else. And why you gotta beat around the bush with everything. That's because you're not a you're not a content creator whatsoever if you gotta ask that question. Because as a content creator, you know we have to dance around certain words because they will shut you down for telling the truth. So when when I hear that, it just you, you couldn't understand. Right now, everybody knows what's going on over there. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about solutions. My solution that I've been trying to drive home for the last two, three years plus is do you have your garden going? I don't care where you live. I don't want to hear that you're just a renter. I don't care, want to hear that you don't have no space. I don't want to hear that you don't have any money. If you come with me with something right now about some your excuse, I'm going to give you an answer. I'm going to give you something that's going to shoot your excuse down the drain. There's no excuse. 
I can understand you don't own a, 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 a pressure cannon. You could be water bath cannon because you can water bath cannon anything. You can water bath cannon a bucket, a metal bucket if you can. A cooking pot right now is no reason that you shouldn't be prepared for, for this. This is what we've been preparing for. Now, if these knuckleheads turn loose and they start acting childish, all of them, this is going to hit us right here on our soil. <laughs> this is the whole, I'm not going to say it. This is the, the big one that everybody been talking about for the last 40, 50 years. This is this could end up being the big one. You know why? Because we got our feet and everything. And let, let me tell you something. On LBX73 channel, my next, my next video was going to be about minding your own damn business. My next video was going to be about minding your own business personally. But see, it become more than personally now. Now, we as a country, we got our hands in everybody else's pocket. We got our hands in so much stuff. Have you ever, and we all been there have you ever been in debt to the point you owe so many people that you don't know how you gonna pay them back and if they ended up saying well look come over here and wash my car you can't say no everybody keep wondering why we keep putting our hands in everybody every other country business why do we because everybody, that's the part I don't understand. People, oh, we free this country. America, bullshit. Listen, we owe too many people to be free. You're not free when you're in debt. You understand that we? this is a free country? It is. Because we owe a lot of people that if they come collect, there won't be no America. If all them people that you don't like and everybody keeps saying down with this country, down with that country, if we keep doing that and they say, you know what, we tired of y'all talking, putting, you know, uh, uh, not putting some respect on our name, <laughs> like baby said. How about you could keep talking stupid. You could keep uh, disrespecting us. All you want to just give us our money back. Yeah. Give us our five hundred trillion dollars back, and you can say whatever you want. How's that? How's that sound? If every country that we owe do that, they're gonna have us on the, the 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 TV in the middle of the night with flies humming around us, drinking doo doo water, talking about some for a dime a day. These poor. Helpless Americans, kids, that's that's what you're going to see. That's what's going on, family. Ain't nobody ready. Everybody keep on saying, I ain't done mine yet. I ain't did mine yet. And then the other people is like, what, is, what are we talking about? What's going on? What's happening? Family, where have you been? It's people, I was out and about today, and it's people just so happy and joyous. I understand life is beautiful. You, you alive, we all woke up breathing. And everybody keep acting like ain't nothing happening. Nothing happening. And I, it, it bothers me because those are the people that I love that may end up turning into my enemy if this all go down. If this all go down, your best friend will become your enemy because they, they, how many of y'all, show of hands right now, how many people got family member and friends talk about some, I ain't prepping nothing. What you talking about? Storing food. No, nah, I just come to your house when it pop off. If something do go down, I'm going to come to your house. So raise your hand if you got some family member or some friend or somebody, one of your co-workers done said something that damn stupid. Raise your hand, please. Because I can raise all of them. 
Oh, we ain't. That's crazy. Oh, you're nuts. Well, if it do, and then when you drive, you you trying to tell them this is what's going on. That's what's going on over there, and they about to go to war. All of this, right? And then they turn around, and they said, "Well, once you make a point and you kick them with some realistic facts, because you can't dispute facts after a while." It's like, uh, well, it don't matter. That's how they do it. It don't matter anyway, because if it pop off, I'm coming to your house. I'm telling you right now what you just saw. You just saw your enemy. Might be your family member, might be your best friend, might be your mama, might be your daddy, might be one of your kids. What you just saw is your new enemy if this stuff pop off. It's bad enough the stuff that's going on already to this very day. It's bad enough what's going on right now. Look, I got a bands around my face from wearing this all day we that's a thing this is the this is the actual thing whether you want to do it or not it's a thing to wear a mask it's normal gas prices is over three and five dollars a gallon it's normal Ain't nothing on the shelves in, in a lot of stores. Some stores got food, some stores don't. But here's the difference, because in my, some of my stores, the food is, is okay. It's, you know, it depends on what neighborhood you're in, number one. Number two, it is a scarcity no matter how you cut it, of meat, food, produce, whatever. It, it don't look like it did, you know, six years ago. Let's put it like that. Excuse my uh, allergies acting up. If you got somebody in your life right now that ain't preparing for what's going on right now, let alone what might be popping off in the next few hours, few minutes, few days, you're looking at your potential rival. You're looking at your potential enemy because you've been preparing, you've been stocking up, you've been getting yourself together. You've been getting the food together. You've been doing the canning. You've been growing a garden. And they sitting there waiting and, and looking at you like, what a dummy. And now look. So, if you go down, that person is going to want some. And you're going to be like, hell no. Now you just made another enemy. All I wanted to do is tell everybody, please do a little something. Even if you don't believe in what I'm saying, one part can't be wrong. Everybody say, I don't believe in doing all that, but I believe in the Bible. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. They'll say that, but then you won't You won't do nothing to tell you to do about preparing, getting yourself together, uh, taking care of your family. That's why I'll be like, man, miss me with all that. You, 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 you say that stuff, man, but you don't do it. You, you know, my always my philosophy been this. If all you do is talk, you, I know people that can recite the Bible from the front cover to the back. Do you understand me? They can recite it and everything you do, they can bring up a scripture and put it on your forehead and make it stick. Okay. But they don't live by none of that. They live by a few. Is whatever is whatever make it good for them, right? But anything else, ah, that it, it, it's clauses in there where that don't really count. If all you do is know how to recite the Bible or recite scripture, all you are is an actor, because that's what actors do. They memorize lines. They memorize script and they become the actor that they need to be when it's time to read the script. After the after the man hit the thing down and say, all right, cut, that's a wrap for the day. You go back to being a sinner and a piece of crap. So reciting your scriptures don't mean jack to me if you ain't trying your best to do everything you, you can to do what it say. And those be the people that's flaring it out at you too. Like you ain't better than me because I'm all righteous. 
family, we ain't doing right. And now we in a mess. We in a mess. And all I've been trying to do is just do my best to tell as many people as I can. And man, please do something. Please. Because I don't want no enemies. I don't want no mess. I don't. I talk a, I talk a lot of junk, but man, I don't listen. I only fight if I have to. I'm not I'm not a fighter like that. I don't want to fight. Let's put it like that. I don't want to. I don't want to because it don't never solve nothing. If you win a fight, if you win a fist fight or you win an argument, you won the argument or you won the fist fight, but now it's animosity and the animosity is more extreme than the fist fight or the argument itself. Just that aura of evil in your heart. Because now every time you you start doing stuff like I ain't going to that store because that's where they hang out. I ain't going to that mall because that's where they hang out. I hate coming up and down the street because that's where they live. That feeling of dread every time you, you see that feeling, it never go away. Even though you won the fight. That feeling. I don't like that. I'd rather just be like, man, just go away. Leave me alone. But that's where we are now. We at a point where everybody about to start picking sides. Everybody about to start picking who's the enemy, who's right, who's wrong. It been, it been bubbling for so long. And here we are. If them folks go to war, If them folks go to war, we're smack dab in the middle of that. That's you can't say that's their problem. You can't you can't say that. Look, that's why our dude is as soon as they start creeping up a little further in over the line, what our dude oh with sanctions. Why why? Because we knee deep in the funk. We got to do something. So look at this. This is, <clears throat> this is what I want you to look at. Look at, look at our um, teammates. And look at their teammates. Mosquito. Look at our allies. Look at their allies. We done lost so many good allies that now if this pop off, all the good ones went to remember Revenge of the Nerds, the Nerds against the Jocks. Okay, we getting jock straps put on our head right now. You can talk all that America crap you want to, but we got the jock straps on our head. We the ones getting thrown in the locker and locked up. This is not a time for this. Out of all the times in the world, this is one of the worst times for us to have to deal with any kind of confrontation. The leadership has been piss pop poor for the last almost 10 years. Yeah, I can't, man. I don't want to go. Listen, I don't. This is the part that people don't understand. They they look up and we ain't gonna say the we ain't gonna say the country. But they over there training their normal citizens, every average, everyday citizens. How to defend themselves. Because they're like, listen. Oh, this ain't going to be fought on some battlefield 50 million miles away. You're going to be fighting in your streets. You're going to be fighting in your homes. Didn't I tell y'all before the story of the three little pigs? You want to know why they don't never have no confrontations here on this soil? All the houses is made out of sticks. What you going how you gonna defend yourself? It's made out of twigs. It's made out of twigs. 
do you re do you realize in every other country all the houses are made out of stone, out of rock, out of mortar? Because those people are always ready to battle. That's why. We get a hurricane and it blows our, it huffs and it puffs and it blows our houses down. We're not even equipped to go to war. I'm not even going to, everybody think because you own a firearm, you ready for war. <laughs> oh God, it's stupid. No. See, it ain't just a, a baby can pull a trigger. A puppy can pull a trigger. It's strategy. War is strategy. It ain't about your weapons. Some of the greatest wars have been fought with the mind. Some of the greatest wars right here on this soil has been fought with the mind and almost nobody had to lose a life. The weapons was the last thing though. The mind was the battlefield and the weapons were just there to enforce it. See, everybody think if I pick up a firearm, I'm going to win. You need to do some research on the Civil War. Because we was outnumbered. Everybody don't like to hear that, but it's true. We was outnumbered. See, we won. We won with some tricky, tricky stuff. Telling you, this is where it's fought. And if you ain't got your head in the game right now, for instance, where you gonna hide? If they start coming down the streets, tanks and stuff start coming down the streets, where you gonna hide? Oh, cause you got your, you got your firearm. You gonna protect? What you gonna do? What you do? Hide around? Hide around the other side of the house? Have you ever watched a war on television? Have you ever actually watched a piece of an actual war going on on television where these tanks, these missiles, okay, and these jets are launching bombs one after another, one after another? Heat seeking missiles, scud missiles, all this stuff. And they hit these houses. Boom! These houses just crumble a little. They're already in ruin, right? But they just crumble a little bit. They get hit, hit for years. These houses have been built out of stone for hundreds, if not thousands of years. They're still standing and even our troops, when we're over somewhere, can hide behind some of the ruins that have been sitting in these cities and these countries. For hundreds of years, where will we hide? Why you think ain't ain't don't nothing happen on this soil? There's no if you where you gonna take cover at? A parking garage that, like the one that just fell a few months back for no reason? Cause it's poorly built. Oh, the bridges poorly built. Our infrastructure, all of our stuff is just crumbling and falling apart. Our water mains already garbage. Our gas lines is already busted. We what we gonna do? Protect busted gas lines. Protect uh, uh, sewage that's already seeping into our water. What we gonna do? We already a mess. Have you ever? Have you ever got home from work tired? Whooped, you put in overtime, double shift. You get home and all you want to do is take your shoes off. You ain't even got enough strength to take to take your clothes off. Have you ever been so tired that you got in the damn bed with your clothes on and you even one shoe is dangling on your toe and you ain't got enough energy to wiggle that daddy toe to knock that shoe off? You wake up in the morning with that one shoe dangling from from your uh. From your toe. Right? That's how exhausted you is. As soon as you pull those covers on you, you got your clothes on, you ain't even cut the lights out, you ain't got the energy nor the mind power. But then one of your kids called. 
Dad, I need a ride to the house. My car broke down. I'm in the middle of nowhere. And you be this close to telling your own child. You, you birthed this child. You this close to telling that child. You're going to have to find your way home. I can't do it. I've been, I done did 16 hours. I can't hardly breathe. I ain't ate. I, I can't do it. You got to call somebody else. But this is your child. That exhausted. But you know you got to get up. But you, you know you ain't no good for nothing, though. When you go pick your kid up, you might even be like, look, you drive home. But dad, I, man, drive. I, I just got my, my learner permit, man. Come drive this car. You gonna drive tonight. Because you, you so tired, you just got to trust your child to drive, right? Okay, that's my point. That's this country right now. We're exhausted. We are beat down. We are whooped. And we're spent. We can't afford to take another loss. Take another hit. We've been through it all in the last four or five years. We, we've dealt with everything that used to just be a scenario. Just used to be a doggone conspiracy theory. We've been through it all. I, if somebody say they seen a lot in this monster right now making love to a chupacabra, damn it, I'll believe it. I don't even got to see it. I don't even got to see it. Because everything has come to fruition. To the point, man. This country, this country can't. We can't take another hit, family. We cannot take another hit. This is a bad time for this. Like somebody coming over to your house when your house is tore up. Like, listen, can you come back tomorrow? Please. Well, we need to get these papers signed can I, can I just mail them to you? Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Not now. I got my my elderly grandmother over here and she just peed on herself. And I got all my nephews and nieces. Can I just can you come back? That's this country right now. War is knocking on the door and we ain't ready, man. We ain't ready. You know, you done called an Uber, you done called a cab. And they came 20 minutes faster than they said they was going to come. You ain't got your shoes on. You ain't got on no pants. You running through the house trying to put on your drawers. You still soaking wet and soapy from the shower. But the Uber out there blowing the horn. Come on. You on the clock. Let's go. That's this country, man. You getting up. You getting an Uber. Look like they just saved you from a, 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 a near drowning. Because you soapy and wet. You got a toothbrush in your mouth. That's this country, man. We in, we in, we in a bad way. And ain't nobody doing nothing. Nobody's getting themselves together. Nobody is storing food. I keep seeing the questions in the comments like, what should I do? Jesus, what do you mean what should you do? Man, it's Google right here, man. Google is right on there. Everybody, everybody need to come together and stop. It's just, I don't even got words, man. I don't got words. All of us YouTubers on the YouTube platform keep bouncing, bouncing, bouncing around and telling everybody. But then we, then you know what you get? Oh, you just doing that for views. Okay. Say, say we are doing it for views, right? What part did you do? To help your brothers and sisters. Or warn them. See here's the part that people miss. Like the person that said. I got to dumb down everything. It ain't that I'm dumbing it down. I just want to make it universally understood. Because so many people. Man look it could be a traffic jam. Right at the corner of the house. And the person lived across the street from me. Don't even know about it. Because they in their own little world. But I'm starting to understand. Why though. People be in their own little world because it's so crazy out here, man. If sometimes if you don't go into your own little bubble, you will lose it. You will lose it. And right now, that's where we are. 
Some people get in that little bubble and they feel so safe they never come out. Look how many people, and I'm not getting on gamers. It's not just gamers, it's just an example, okay? It's some gamers, they put they, they put them goggles on and they won't take them off. They'll fall asleep in there. Because the real world, you thought your virtual reality and you shot shooting at the thing. You think that's crazy? You take them off and see dope ass, hey, excuse me, sir, or somebody tweaking off for of some drug, rolling down the street like a tumbleweed. You like, nah, I'm good. Put them back on. You put them back on, man. We're not ready for war. We're not ready for anything to hit this soil. It's so many people that have we're so spoiled. And then you got people talking about some, I don't believe in firearms and that. You will in a minute, but I, Lord forgive me. I hope, I hope nobody has to say that. <laughs> but I'm telling you, when it comes down to it, this you gotta protect yourself and you gotta protect your family. I I support the right to protect yourself. And over the last five years, I've had a chance to see all the people singing the tune that don't believe in firearms. They're the ones that bought them all up. I was there. I've seen it in every store in my whole state that I go to. When I hear this, so uh, what does this little thingy do? I hey, hate, take your finger off of that. <laughs> okay? That's the boom button. Don't ever touch that unless you're ready to destroy something. You know what that told me? This person probably never picked one of these up in their life. <laughs> they bought them all up. It's in the statistics. Go read them. Not, not people that support uh, protecting yourself is what I'm calling it. No, not us. Not us. All the people that got scared over the last five years bought them all up and back ordered them. To the point now, I found some. I found some. Uh, some kibble to feed my Glockweilers. <laughs> I found some kibble to feed my Glockweilers, and I. I thought it was a lovely day. I couldn't believe I found some. Can't even find no, you know, feed for your Glockweilers. When you do run up on some, you're like, oh my god, it's gonna cost you. But at least you found some. Right? <laughs> That's because they panic bought everything out. Cause they don't they all of a sudden they're like, huh. These ain't as good as they used to be, <laughs> you know? And then they start seeing some of these scenarios with some of these uh uh B and E's breaking and entering. Everybody always think they got some kind of Bruce Lee crap in their head where they gonna fight off <sighs> man to man. One person, your skills is better. No, 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 no. It's a dude at the front door. It's a dude at the back door. And it's a dude outside watching the neighbors. All of them coming in the house. What you going to do? So now once the scenario start coming to people's head. That, hey, this ain't no dog no movie. Then they like, I got to figure out a way to protect myself. All that TV garbage. What you going to do, call your neighbor, right? While your neighbor is trying to protect their family, you going to have your neighbor protect you too? It don't work that way. It don't work that way. Okay. So, I'm telling you right now. My question to you is are you ready for a bad situation? Cause it's it's, it's bad, y'all. It's bad. I'm this ain't no scare. Yes, it is a scare tactic. Yes, it is a scare tactic. Cause you should be scared. Nobody, nobody had to deal with what we've been dealing with for almost a hundred years: war, famine. <laughs> I could go on. 
We only hear stuff about the Great Depression. And here's the part about the Great Depression that we never get a chance to hear. We never get a great grandma and them never really told you the real, real, real what they had to do because they was probably ashamed. They told you the gritty, the nitty gritty, but they didn't tell you the dark, ugly side of it. Because this is what I keep telling people for a fact. You will do whatever you have to do to survive when the time comes. People are like, oh, I could never eat a chicken. I'm a vegetarian. I'm a vegan. Okay. All right. And that's and that's how you will pass. If that if that's your that's how you want to die, and you honorable to that, that's how you would die. If ah I don't eat lettuce, I don't eat, and all you do is eat meat. Well, that's how you would die. You're gonna do whatever it takes to survive. If you are not ready to survive with all your weird rules of what you will and what you won't do, or what you will or what you won't eat to live another day. You, you fooling yourself. Everybody keep thinking canning is ridiculous. Everybody, I'm scared to can food. You scared to can food. But you ain't scared of what's going on right now. You scared to start a garden on your landlord's grass. But you ain't scared of this. You ain't scared of that little dude in the snow over there giggling. He always grinning too like... I don't like people to be grinning and they, like they know something that I don't know. They like this. Every time you see him on the news, you looking at people like this, ain't he? He ain't never like this. He ain't never straight face. He always like this. <laughs> I don't even understand his language, but I know this language. That language, is facial language, is telling me, man, I could just crush you if I felt like it. But I won't. That smirk, that means I got something on you, suckers, man. I got something on you. And the only reason, the only reason we have not done anything yet to this day is because, think about this. It would be easy to make, to shut that down, right? If we was murk. No. Nah. The reason why it's not easy is because he knows something. He knows something that's keeping us at bay. Or he got something that we want or need that's keeping us at bay. We would, every, every doggone world leader to come and have to deal with that man kind of be like, I don't want to deal with He like the bully. That little dude is like the bully of the school. Like, man, I ain't trying to be over there with him, man. You know, he play too much. <laughs> you know, he played too much. I ain't trying to be over there with him. Every president we get don't want to be bothered with that dude. It's a reason why. Because he good at giving purple nurples and wedgies to countries. And he don't got no remorse. If you go look at the history, he don't got no remorse about doing it either. That's why he's smirking like, boy, I can't wait to purple nurple your school. I mean, your country, boy. Come on with it. I can't wait to give you away. I'm going to give y'all wedgie so bad that I'm going to rip them out. And it's going to be some blood on them junk, son. And I'm going to hand them to you. Put them in your lunchbox. That smirk, man. That smirk get me every time like. And everybody be like, oh, well, we don't really want to deal with him. We did, listen, right now in real life, we're dealing with that dude. We're That's what we're dealing with. And that's what we're fighting against right now. And you scared to can store your food? You scared to get your guards started? You scared? I don't want to hear I'm scared no more. That dude scared me. I ain't scared. What, what else I got to do? Everything I've learned how to do in this last three years alone is because, yes, I'm scared to pressure can. But damn it, I ain't got no choice. That's, 
I need you to understand that I feel in my soul. I don't want to be in that pressure cannon, but I feel something deep in my spirit. I ain't got no choice but to learn these skills. I ain't got no choice but to learn these skills or I'm going to be destroyed. That's how everybody should be feeling right now. If I do not learn these skills, if I do not garden, if I do not learn how to can my own food, if I do not learn how to make vinegar, how to make wine, how to make fuel, if I don't invest in uh, a portable energy, if I don't, I'm going to lose. You know, I did the whole solar solar uh, generator video the other day and I kept hearing, why you got so many generators? The last thing on the planet Earth you should be worrying about is what I'm doing in my home. My question to the people that ask me, why do I have so many solar power generators? My question to you is, why come you don't? With everything going on, why don't you got none? Why don't you got no? Them is the same people that ain't canned. Ain't planted a damn seed. Them the ones that used to you go through McDonald's drive drive through so much they know you by name. They know your order. You ain't got you go through the doggone drive through and you don't play. May I take your order? It's Maria. Oh, come on over, Maria. They don't even. They already know what you want with an extra twist of whipped cream in your cafe. Move with that. Them the people that say stuff like that to me. You ain't did nothing. We about to be step our boots dead in the poop right now, and you is is uh get free coupons and with for McFlurry, and you wonder why I got generators. It ain't to brag. It's to show you, man. Look, this is how they all work, and you need one because if the power keep going off and these mysterious kabooms. What I do with them? I, okay, look, let me show you something. I'm going to show you something real quick. By the way, my kabucha blew up. Hold on, because I got something for you. I want to show you something. I threw it away today. Damn, man. Now I want to cut myself. Okay, I'm going to just put it to you like this. Listen, um, two, three nights ago, three nights ago, I woke up, couldn't sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night about... Uh, 3.30 ish Do you know I'm sitting here at my desk And for about Two to three hours There was earthquakes And I wrote them all down Every nine to seven minutes Every nine to seven minutes For three hours Here's the crazy part Every day since I've filled up one of these doggone Notepads Cause I, I start getting used to that like, God, I feel it. I'm feeling it. I'm sitting in my chair. It's like it's nothing in my house. Nothing in my house. It's always a certain time. It's between it happens between about 3:30 a.m. and it's kind of stopped about 7:30 a.m. Every day since. I heard them this morning too. What is that? Last night, I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning because I heard kaboom. So, of course, I go for my thing and I run downstairs. All the lights is out. Fishbowl law. You t all I want to know is what was that? Nobody on my security system saying nothing. Nobody on the news saying nothing. None of the neighbors saying something. So, I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on, man? Every day, I'm going to find that before the day is through, even if I got to cut my hand off, because I'm going to tear you up. I threw it in here, because I was like, I ain't going to need that. There it go. There it go. It's all smeared up now, because with kombucha juice. Look here. I kid you not if it's still legible. Okay, look. Oh, and I was right now, felt a slight tremor. I felt a slight tremor at 528. I don't know if y'all can see. It's, it's a mess. Felt a slight tremor at 528 a.m. Then uh, I wrote the date, February 18th. Then a third one at 537 a.m. Then 546. I used up all these papers, kept writing down the tremors. This literally shaking my house. 
shaking my what is that man what is that i'm gonna tell you about the last time i stopped writing them down after a while the last one i wrote in no not chicken feeder the last one i wrote in was 701 i said 701 i barely felt it at 701 a.m what is that it's been happening every day since so what are we doing here Y'all don't think none of this is wrong. And you know the crazy part is it's happening in your city too. It's happening around your house too. And y'all keep asking me the same thing. All the South Carolina, uh, South Carolinians keep saying, Hey, Led, did you feel that earthquake? And I'll be like, what you talking about? Now I know. What is that? Right? What is that? Uh-oh. I'm sorry, honey. My bad. You okay? So, the solutions. I'm going to tell you what the solutions is. The solutions are get yourself together. Get your food stocked up. And, and all of these all of these YouTubers just on this platform, I can't speak for no other platform because I don't deal with those. I can only deal with what we're doing right now. All these, all these YouTubers is saying, man, get your food together. Stock up your dog on food. Get, get ready to pr protect yourself. Get ready to protect yourself. Okay. And keep something with you at all times. Guard your food. Guard your grill. Guard your family. Because it's going down. Look, we, we're already going through it. So it ain't even nothing to convince you of. In the last two years alone, you either said, I'm not wearing this, or I am wearing this. See, this was an option because my point is, it's a reality now. Whether you believe in it or not, it's a reality. It's more of them in the streets right now as pollution than it is grocery bags. It's a, that's how real it is. It's, it's part of pollution now. So, I'm going to advise you to just start if you haven't started. The least thing you can do is store you up some water. The least thing you can do is start buying you some canned food. You, you may not get no help. You may, get, you may get a bunch of people calling you a nut job. You may. You may get a lot of people calling you a lunatic. But that's a chance you're going to have to take. And that's a chance that we all take doing this. Mm. Let me get over here. That's a chance that we all take with what we're doing right now. I can't be worried about what people think of me. I just need to protect her and the rest of my dog on crew. To the best of my ability. I'm, I'm doing what the father told me to do. I got to make sure they okay. And everybody sitting here still watching game shows and stuff. Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy. Je you know what should be on Jeopardy? Why don't they start putting on Jeopardy? Who gives a damn what all the weird questions? Man, look, how you make kombucha? How you make vinegar? Put up some real questions that the whole world... Listen, put up some questions. If you're going to watch game shows... Put up some questions that the whole world need to know. Don't nobody need to care about Jennifer Lopez's shoe size. Who cares? Who cares what uh, 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 Jennifer Lopez, her last movie with, what's that? Who cares? Put in that game show. Uh, what are vinegar ingredients? Uh, Alex, I'll take... Um, how to pressure can for 500. That should be it. So we can all sit down and watch something that ain't going to waste our damn time. It'll actually be teaching us something. Switch the doggone, switch the game up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it if you're going to do it. But man, make it useful. 
We got things right now that we're addicted to, like television. Okay, I get it. Television is entertaining. You know it also you can entertain with knowledge. Knowledge. It's easy too. Knowledge. I ain't gonna keep on rattling on. I just wanna make sure, listen, get yourself together. Keep your eye on them people, man. Keep your, this ain't no game. Keep your eye out. If you ain't paying no attention to the news right now, you, you got judgment of your own. You know right from wrong. You know who lying and who ain't. So you ain't got to watch all media outlets. You ain't got to listen to every news anchor. But you can glue pieces together and be like, oh, yep, yep. Once you know the problem, then you work on the solution. Don't just keep sitting around twiddling your damn thumbs talking about some when my tax when my taxes come back, because they done already told you y'all can hang that up for a while. Ain't nobody getting no taxes until they done. Now that's the other thing before I go. If they do start beefing, that's gonna shut all this down. Money in, in the bank gonna get funny. I just did a video about that. Money in the bank gonna get weird. Everything gonna get weird. Gas prices gonna go through the roof. You know why gas prices gonna go through the roof? Because they need that fuel to fight. Because our allies ain't got it like that. So we gonna be giving all our resources to them so they can fight. I told you we need deep in this funk, man. We ain't getting out of this unscathed. We ain't getting out. We ain't going to be able to sit on the sideline and just be like, hit them with a left. Hit them with a left. Nah, not this time. We got ourselves too far in the crap, man. Think about it. Everything. They, these little countries ain't ready. That look, they confident. They confident. Like Kevin Hart said, he can dunk. He's confident. He he played. He he looked the He looked like he could do it. He looked like he got enough, you know, to to actually dunk. But I don't I don't see it happening. I don't I don't think he can do it. Sorry, Kev. That's that country. All of their people is ready for war. They confident. But they ain't ready. They ain't ready. They need a they big brother to step in and stand behind and make sure don't nobody cheat. Don't nobody jump in either. Nobody bet not jump in. It's one-on-one. -on -one. But they don't know big brother got a broken leg, a dog on splint, a stint, and a cast on his foot. He just big. Think. That's us in America. We big. But they don't know we old, you know, got bunions on your feet. Your dog on gout is acting up. You, been, you got bubble guts. You ain't ready to fight. You just look the part. That's us. And we keep on, we keep on playing on that. Like, my big brother will protect me. Man, you don't know your big brother. Is, he old, man. You've been saying, you've been saying that big brother gonna protect me. You look, look how long you've been saying it now. 50 years, 60 years, 100 years. Big bro, old man. He ain't, he ain't got that thing like he used to when he was young and could box. You know what I'm saying? Nah. He just, wow. He just keep hitting me with a boy, boy, boy. You don't even know, boy. He, that's all he do now. He don't just go knock mugs out no more. That's this country, man. We used to just knock people out. Like, man, you talking all that, man? Bow! I'm done with you. Tell me, watch your mouth. Right? That's what this country used to do. Blah, blah, blah. Bow! Man, I told you I don't talk all that. I ain't about to talk with you. But now we like, boy, you better shut your mouth, man. You got, you got one more time. Keep on talking. Keep on talking. What? What? You know how the back of the day you put your chest up because the other dude just keep talking. Keep talking. Say what? What now? Boy, don't don't make me come out one man. What? That's this country. But we still think it's still big bruh. No. 
Now it's time for you to get ready. Just in case big bruh get his teeth knocked out. Little bruh, you gonna have to protect your own damn self. And, and frankly, you is gonna be the one ended up helping protect big bruh. So they don't kill him, which is this country. Because if they take, if think about this, y'all. Go back in history. Do your history. Forget history. Forget history. Because I know it's a lot of people like, I ain't doing that. Monopoly. Everybody done play Monopoly. You start out with that little purple house. Right? That one. But if you keep on putting a bunch of little houses, little houses, you start buying little houses on the board that don't nobody want. Once you start putting a bunch of little bitty houses on the board, now, the yo, dude playing with you, he got a big hotel over here in the corner on, on, on Park Place and stuff, right? But after a while, the dude with all the bunch of little houses put all that together, put hotels on it, and he'll tear your ass up all day. That's how war is played. You don't got to win no big giant war. If they win this little place, that little place wins another little place. Look how much bigger they got now. Now their army is a little bigger. That little place wins another place. Look how that army is. Look at us. That's how, that's how they took this land. Go back and do your history. That's how they took this land. One little faction beat out the natives. This little faction beat out the natives. They just kept kept putting little, taking little pieces, little piece at a time, little piece at a time, little piece at a time, until now look where we at. And look where the natives are. If you think you just gonna go and buy, fight a, a war the size of a country and just take it overnight, you're a fool. That ain't how it's done. Take little bites. It's just like one of those eating contests. The dude just shoving all the hot dogs down his throat, he gonna lose. The dude who just keep chomping. Little, you like, he ain't got a prayer. He still got 400 hot dogs left. This dude halfway through the bowl, but he just smashing, right? But he gonna end up puking, and he gonna be out. The little dude is taking a little bites, he gonna win. Because all in all, he gonna eat this whole mountain of dog on hot dogs. That's how this country was took. I'm trying to put it in lamest terms for you. That's how this country was took. You take little bites. You take little bites until you win the whole contest. You take no big bites. You end up puking and losing. We're do man, we in some trouble, man. <laughs> we in some trouble. So it's going to count. It's going to take all of us to do our own part. If you, back in history, if you think about it, the only way... This doggone country was able to pull anything off. Everybody did their part. The reason why we walking around thinking our stuff don't stink to this day is because our ancestors, or, or not our ancestors, but our predecessors, they all did their part. Our elders, they gave up on the automobiles. They said, just take the automobile, crush the metal down so y'all can build planes. They went out in the streets. All the citizens collected all the rubber, took the rubber tires off their cars so they have rubber so the soldiers could have the rubber. They was in the factories making ammunition. They, was, they did their part. The difference of the people then versus the people of today, everybody is so Self-centered, they think that that's somebody else's job. That's somebody else's job. Not my. I, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a soldier. That's that's not me. So you waiting around for somebody else to fight for you? That's where we're going to mess up because we don't have it in us anymore to fight for yourself. Not not just soldiers. We all soldiers in a way. And it's always going to come a time where you got to pick up arms and fight. It, I've been saying this for years. Police can only do so much. I'm done. Listen. 
in my prayers tonight. I'm going to pray. This just don't happen. I'm not going to pray on a winner. That's what. That's another way we, we mess up. Think about this. When we pray, oh, Lord, I hope they lose. You think the other team ain't saying, Lord, I hope they lose. No, 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 no. I'm not going to pray for a winner. I'm going to pray that it just don't happen. Lord, let them find peace. If, if you don't think I, I don't pray for my enemies, I do. I pray for their peace. I want them to find peace. I don't want them to get hurt, even if you hate me. It's a lot of people on this platform don't care for me. I dig it. But I pray for your peace. I pray you find peace and move on. I pray you find love and move on. And that's what I pray for these people. I hope they just be like, you know what? This is stupid. Millions of people about to lose their lives. Now I'm going to just go home and make me a peanut butter banana sandwich. You call it a day. Look, just, man, don't come over here no more. Okay, I ain't. You stay away from over here. Okay, I ain't. That's what I pray. I hope they just squash it, man. I ain't praying for no winner. I just pray that they squash it. All right. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, everybody be safe. Watch your tail feather. Go get your food together. Get your stores up. Get your stocks up. Save you some water. Get Save you a little fuel. I ain't going to tell you how. Do whatever you need to do. Save you some fuel. Save you some water. Get your cannon going. Start planting some seeds. Just do something, man. Stop waiting on everybody to do everything for you. All right? Read a book. Lay a farm 73. I love you. I kind of figured this kind of what happened. I love you. And I'm out. Everybody be safe. All right? I wish I had time to answer questions. But I just wanted to get my point across because you see how many people was like, what's going on? What's happening? Ain't that scary? Ain't that scary? How many people in this comment tonight was like, what? What happened? What's going on? Why is everybody tripping? Why is there so many people in this chat? Those are the people, man, that's, they don't know. That's why we do this. All right. Everybody have a wonderful night. Be safe. Protect your family. All right. Get yourself together. That's all I can say. Live Farmers Every Three. I love you. And I'm out.